Hello friends, in this video we are going to solve a numerical based on flow between two plates where these two plates are stationary. So let's move on to video. Let's see the numerical. Two plates kept 100 mm apart have laminar flow of oil. They have already mentioned that this is problem related with laminar flow. So we don't have to think much about it. This is the problem on the topic that we have learned already. So two plates 100 mm apart. This gap is 100 mm. Having maximum velocity of 1.5 meter per second. This is 1.5 meter per second. Assume viscosity of oil to be 24.5 poise. We have to consider it in our regular unit that is Newton second per meter square. The relation is 1 Newton second per meter square is equal to 10 poise. So it is asked to calculate discharge per meter width. So we are considering width value as 1 meter and corresponding discharge is asked. Shear stress at plates at plates means at the boundaries what is the value of shear stress we all know that it is maximum so we will consider the formula for maximum shear stress the difference in pressure between two points 20 meter apart when we are considering pressures this is x and this is y so along the x if we move 20 meter then what will be the reduction in the pressure that is asked that is difference in the pressure and next velocity gradient velocity gradient is nothing but the this value du upon dy value change in velocity with respect to y direction this y direction means what will be the value of velocity if we go away from the plates that is asked and velocity at 20 mm from the plate if we are able to calculate a relation between velocity gradient with respect to y then it will be clear that we will be able to calculate velocity at any distance away from the plate so here it is asked to calculate at 20 mm so we will start with given data t equal to 100 mm 0.1 meter this u max is already given to us as 1.5 meter per second mu is 24.5 poise so 24.2.45 newton second per meter square i am directly writing the answer as 2.45 after conversion width b equal to 1 meter so we will start with discharge per meter width this q is basic formula u bar into a area is nothing but the u bar into this width b into thickness t see these are the two plates and this is the cross sectional area and this is the velocity u bar so this cross sectional area is product of two terms one is this distance that is t, t value is this gap and this value is width is b which is equal to 1 in our case. So putting corresponding values we have this u bar can be expressed in terms of as this u bar is equal to 2 by 3 of u max which is 2 by 3 of 1.5 equal to 1 meter per second so we can calculate discharge q as 1 into 1 into 0.1 equal to 0.1 meter cube per second in simplified units it becomes by multiplying 1000 it becomes 100 liter per second if we logically think about this term in one second 100 liters of fluid is flowing through a particular cross section 
we will start with second term to be calculation as pressure gradient for that purpose we will use relation u bar is equal to 1 upon 12 mu minus daba p by daba x into t square this is the relation between two terms u bar and t square putting value of u bar as 1 1 upon 12 mu value is 2.45 minus daba p by daba x thickness is 0.1 square we can have value of daba p by daba x as 2940 this daba p is measured in newton per meter square that is pascal and dx is measured in meter so this will be the unit pascal per meter or newton per meter square per meter so this is nothing but the pressure gradient we can define it as change in pressure with change in distance along x direction we can calculate next term that is shear stress at a point tau is equal to this t by 2 minus dapa p by dapa x so it is 0 0.1 upon 2 into 2940 we have already calculated this value 2940 so calculations becomes reduced so we will have value of tau as 147 newton per meter square or pascal further we can calculate pressure difference 20 meter apart means there are total two points which are separated by 20 meter and we are finding the pressure difference between these two points so we have to use formula p1 minus p2 12 mu u bar l upon t square so 12 into mu is 2.45 into u bar is 1 into l is 20 upon thickness is 0.1 square that will be equal to 58.8 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square this 10 raised to 3 can be absorbed by changing the unit 58.8 kilo newton per meter square this p1 minus p2 now last term remaining is velocity at 20 mm from plate 20 mm means y value equal to 0 0.02 meter velocity at 20 mm from the plate that is equal to y value is 0 0.02 meter so we will use the relation u equal to 1 upon 2 mu minus daba p by daba x this dy minus y square here we all know the value of mu daba p by daba x t value and y value so just putting the values we will have equation as 1 upon 2 into 2.45 into this daba minus daba p by daba x value is 2940 into t is 0 0.1 into 0 0.02 minus 0 0.02 square it becomes u value as 0 0.96 meters per second that's all thank you